In today's video tutorial, I will show you how to make beautiful cord necklace with two kinds of beads. You can use it as a necklace, bracelet, or as a part of big project. One segment of this cord you can use to create earring, pedant and others. For work you need big beads, two sizes of beads, long beads and round beads, seed beads, needle, crochet hook and cotton yarn. Before the work, we thread seed beads onto the working yarn. The seed beads are large, transparent and not outright. To thread seed beads onto the working yarn, I use needle and thread. I put thread through the needle, then I thread seed beads through the needle and onto the working yarn. Begin the work by making a chain. Pull up the working loop. Take a round bead, put it on the hook. Take the working loop, pull it through. Make a chain with bead. Then chain more, then chain of nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Insert the hook into the chain stitch and make a slip stitch. Make a chain of 9 for the chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch. And pull a little bit. First row is ready. This is the base for our segment. The base consists of bead with the chain and two chain spaces made of nine chains. If you have bigger size of bead, you should make more chains in the chain space. We continue the work. Make a chain to bring up the yarn. Insert the hook into the chain space and now I'm going to work with seed beads. Count three seed beads. Make single crochet. Then you should make 
10 such stitches. First is done. We need to do 9 more. Count 3 seed beads. Make the second one. Four, five. Six, count three seed beads. Eight, nine, and ten. Let's look at our work. I turn the work for this. We are working on the back side of the project. This is the front. This is the one side. Continue with the second side. You should make 10 single crochet with three seed beads one two three Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch, make a slip stitch. Turn the work to the front side. The first segment is ready. This is front side.
before we continue working on the second segment, we need to do the transition between segments for this chain to bring up the yarn. Insert the hook into the chain stitch and make single crochet. Well done. Begin the next segment. Pull up the working loop. Take a long bead. Put it on the hook. Take the working loop, pull it through. Continue the work. Make a chain with bead. Chain to bring up the yarn. Make a chain of nine for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And join the chain in the round. In this case, I insert the hook into the single crochet, make a slip stitch. Make a chain of nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch. Make a slip stitch. Pull a little bit. Now we'll continue working on the front side. Chain to bring up the yarn. Now I tore the work to the back side. Make 10 single crochet with 3 seed beads. I will begin and you will continue by yourself. One, two, three, Four, five. Six, 
six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. I stop here and we will look at the first half of the segment. It is the front side of the second segment. Continue working with the second side. Now I turn the work to the front side. I draw seed beads. Insert the hook into the chain space. Make 10 single crochet with seed beads. Pull a little bit. Dream Four Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Don't forget draw seed beads. We are working on the back side of the project. Insert the hook into the chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Make a slip stitch. Pull a little bit. Pull up the working loop. The second segment is ready. Here how it looks. Let's take a look at the back side. Now 
think this is front. To continue the work, we need to make the transition. Make a chain and single crochet into the chain stitch that we did a slip stitch into. Then you should continue with the next segment. You can alternate with the first and the second segment. The length of the cord you determine by yourself. You should continue by yourself. Today we have learned how to make beautiful beaded necklace. In this case I used three kinds of beads. Long beads, round beads and seed beads. This is front side and this is back. Thanks for watching!